uh, this one really caught my eye. I mean, you really, really should, uh, you really should, you know, read this or re you really should have a perspective as to how much money people are making, uh, doing different other things. So it's not only the Ratan Tatas or uh, Jeff Bezos or Elon Musk or uh, let's say Bill Gates. There are this new generation of youngsters who are also making money online. So, which I think sometimes really drives people head in. Now, this is not to say that you can start making this kind of money, but it shows you the one in billions. So the, the article was by insider.com. Uh, what it says in this article, uh, it says YouTubers earn millions of dollars in rather strange manners, uh, rather strange fashion. Some of them playing video games and talking while playing, giving their views and opinions. Some share vlogs, that is video blogs of their day-to-day -day lives. Some have viral challenges or crazy stuff that they do. Some are, uh, you know, they do stunts, which are kind of reckless, more like a jackass kind of uh, a genre. Then you have tutorials. It can be, uh, you know, how to use, uh, how to use Microsoft Word, how to use Excel or how to install even simple ones like how to install or uninstall a program. There are tutorials for that. Sometimes even I check, like, for example, uh, I'm going to have an interview on Discord, which is a gaming chat, uh, a server. So an app. So I didn't know how to use install Discord. I didn't know how to use it. So I just checked how I typed on YouTube how to use Discord, how to install Discord because I was having problems with that. And uh, the popular ones are like makeup tutorial, which seem to be very popular with women. And then you also have uh, some of them where they even eat food. They actually people... Uh, tune into these channels to watch people eating food. I found some strange, bizarre ones like a lady eating a snake. She catches this, uh, I think it's a non-venomous snake. She catches it in the forest of um, Cambodia or Vietnam, literally catches it alive, kills it, kills it in the sense, I don't know how, uh, I think she smashed its head or something. And with its head, she fries it, you know, coils it, and she eats it with the skin there. And it's really graphic, so just be careful when you're watching that. And then there are those really beautiful Asian women, uh, like uh, the Oriental ones or the uh, ones from, you know, Korea, Japan, or China. Really beautiful ones, but they eat raw, raw octopus. It's, it's like moving and they, they just bite into it. Snails and Stuff that, you know, just moves like slimy stuff. They eat it. I've seen even one where she's eating a crunchy centipede. So people like to see this bizarre, uh, you know, people, uh, because it's not normal. It's not like you, you, you sit and you see people eating raw stuff. Um, so yeah. And then you also have, uh, children, children who play with toys and one of them who I'm going to mention. So, there are different ways you can really, uh, you know, become famous online. But it's a challenge to consistently remain famous, consistently remain relevant. So these are some of the YouTubers who have not only uh, jumped into the limelight, but they have also remained over the period of time. There are a couple of YouTubers who uh, did become famous and then they vanished. But these YouTubers are still relevant. Today, at least, when you're watching the video, today being September 18th, 2019, they are still relevant. So, who are they? The first one is Jack uh, Septic Eye. Jack Septic Eye. Sorry. Uh, Jack Septic Eye, uh, aka Sean McLoggin. Oh my god, his name right. So, he's a video game commentator. Uh, his 2018 earnings were 16 million US dollars. So he plays games and he talks and he makes 16 million US dollars. Uh, that is what he made in 2018. Or that comes down to he earns $1,075 per minute. That means per minute of his video, he makes $1,000. Then you have Mark 
Marky Plyer or aka Mark Fish Fishback. I hope I get his name right. So he's also a video game. Uh, he gives a video game commentary and sketch comedy. His 2018 earnings were 17.5 million, or he earns around roughly $1,393 per minute of YouTube video. It's $1,400. So Dan TDM, aka Dan Middleton, his video game uh, also expert on that. He speaks predominantly on Minecraft. He also give, he gives daily game reviews and gameplay videos. He has been earning $1,487 per minute on YouTube. His 2018 earnings were $18.5 million. Then you have PewDiePie, who is the most highly subscribed single person, or he's known as Felix Gelberg. Okay. Really. Felix Gelberg. Okay. Don't know if his name is pronounced right. Okay. PewDiePie. PewDiePie is what he's known as. And a pretty interesting how his name came to be known as PewDiePie. He liked having the name where, you know, Star Wars, you know, when the attack and fight, it's pew, 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 pew. So uh, that's how the pew came. And die is obviously when you attack, pew, 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 you die. So it's pew, <laughs> PewDiePie. Okay. So he is famous for his gaming commentary and also his uh, comments on internet memes and viral videos. I'm, you know, like I said, I'm not a very big fan of video game commentary. Some of them like it, I guess. So he makes $3,319 per minute on YouTube. So that's quite a lot. 2018 earnings were $15.5 million. So he's not the highest earning, by the way. So though he earns around $3,319 per minute. So imagine one minute is $3,300. Then you have, this one was shocking to me, really shocking. His Ryan, uh, Ryan, Ryan Toys Review, Ryan Toys Review, aka Ryan Taji. Um, so he's an eight year old, an eight year old boy who puts skit, skits with his families. He shows off his collection of toys, unboxing and plays with the toys. This eight year old boy earns $5,200 per minute on his YouTube channel. Wow. That's like, wow, woo, $5,000 per minute just to unpack a toy. Now, that's shitloads of money. His 2018 earnings were a staggering $22 million. Now, hold up, hold up. This was just an eight-year-old earning money just opening toys. You have people earning more. You have Vanos Gaming, a.k.a. Even Fong, who is a comedy, who is a comedy gamer. And he also gives his commentary. This person earned six thousand five hundred and thirty-eight min. Uh, sorry, dollars per minute. Six thousand five hundred and thirty-eight dollars per minute. So you watch one minute, the person gets six thousand five hundred dollars. Uh, two thousand eighteen earnings were seventeen million. Wow. Jake Paul, um, the prankster who performs crazy stunts, General Mayhem. He earned eight. $1,511 per minute of YouTube video. That is $8,500 per minute. Uh, 2018 earnings, $21.5 million for Jake Paul, just to create pranks, to do crazy stuff. Then you have his brother, who is Logan Paul, who earned $11,688 uh, per minute. So Jake Paul earns $8,500 per minute. Logan Paul, $11,600. Uh, $11, wow. His 2018 earnings were $14.5 million. So he earns money only to cause trouble, to do crazy, shitty stuff. And yes, he was involved in the controversy of filming a person who killed herself or hung from a tree in Japan. So I guess this is his way of being famous. Then you have Jeffrey Star, aka Jeffrey Stinginger, or something, beauty mogul and makeup artist, who does makeup reviews and tutorials on YouTube. Also features her Jeffrey Star Cosmetics, earned around ten thousand dollars, ten thousand and seventy-seven per minute of YouTube uh, video. That is uh, two thousand eighteen earnings or eighteen million. So who's the highest? Well, the highest drum roll. Ta -da! 
is Dude Perfect, aka Corey, Kobe Cotton, and three college friends. So how much did they earn per minute of video? Per minute. That means one minute of video, they earned $85,000 per minute. Uh, 2018 earnings were 20 million. They do comedy. They feature famous athletes. They do trick shots. So $85,000 per minute is not bad money. I mean, just imagine if I make $85,000 per minute, I'll be retired. Ask yourself, what would you do if you were earning $85,000 per minute? That is why I tell people, when I when I tell people I charge $167, just think, $167 per minute for my consultation services. And people say, Lloyd, that's so expensive. Or people are like, that's bullshit. You don't earn so much per, per minute for your work. Just think about this. These people earn $85,000 per minute. So... And if you found that surprising, well, let me give you a news flash. Um, top notch celebrities like the presidents of uh, countries, they earn millions. That is per hour just to give a speech. Uh, as far as I recollect, I'm not too sure. I'll put a screenshot. Donald Trump, I think, charges, I think, three million or five million. Uh, that is just to give a one hour speech. Uh, you have Obama, you have Bill Clinton, they charge shitloads of money, 5 million or 10 million or whatever, just to give a one hour speech. So people are making shitloads of money leveraging on their personal brand. And that is where personal branding comes into play. So uh, you can just do something for one minute or you can do something for just for one hour, even to book people for their time to spend one hour with them. People charge like Floyd Mayweather charges people millions. So Yes, there are people out there who are making shitloads of money. And that is why I tell you, invest in your personal brand. And yes, you too can make millions, if not millions, at least 10 times or five times more money than your counterpart. And that's where personal branding comes in. Now, 